Michael, do we ever get to the point, we've seen what's happened with basketball, football, and hockey, with hard, soft, in-between kind of salary caps. Are they ever going to be, I mean, does but do the baseball owners just give up based on how strong the Players Association is and how they have struck in the past and baseball's doing so well? Are we ever going to reach a point with a salary cap? Because there are more, quote, mid-market, small-market teams than there are Yankees and Dodgers out there. Why does that just never come up anymore? Well, I think the owners do bring it up every year. I just think the Players <laughs> Union is just not going to have it. And I think the, the luxury tax system, the revenue sharing, was a bit of a compromise there. And you know, the baseball is so healthy financially, I don't really see the need for a salary cap. The Players Union should not be letting the owners put some kind of limit on salary. There's too much money in baseball. If anything, the players could probably ask for more money because you look at the percentage of the revenue going to the players, it's been going down the last 10, 15 years. So uh, I don't see any reason why the Players Union, I think they would strike over this too. If the owners really kind of dug in and said, we're not, we need a salary cap, I think the players would strike over that. It's just the, the game is too healthy financially for for them to kind of yeah. uh, to put a cap yeah. on spending. Yeah, and, 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 and I only bring it up because and you've talked about Cincinnati. Oh, they got some bad debt on the books, and they, you know, it's a small market team. And I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying that seems to be the most convenient excuse from Cincinnati to Denver to Houston, to San Diego, uh, Milwaukee. San Diego, Milwaukee over the years was, you know, we just don't have the money. We're a small market team. And, and so that's the reason why I bring it up is that gives them an out saying, uh, we can't spend like the Yankees. Well, nobody was ever, hey, in the 60s, people couldn't spend like the Yankees. Well, those <laughs> excuses don't work anymore anyway. San Diego just signed, I think, a, a $2 billion 20-year deal for local TV money. They've all got money. They're flowing in it. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, the yeah. issue here is, it's they self-imposed salary cap. What I, they would never do it, Mike. But I'd love to see a floor. That's the. I mean, but you can't have a floor without a cap. But that's where it, re, the disparity between the highest and the lowest is comical. It creates a major league, minor league system within one league, and that's always been frustrating when I covered it. That there's not a, like in the NFL, you have to spend within what five percent of the cap. I mean, that a floor at least creates competitive balance to where owners have to at least pretend they care. Yeah, and I think that the problem with the floor is I think the union would see that as this is step one towards a salary cap. Right, if we, exactly. If, if we get them to agree to this, eventually they're going to want something in return. And, you know, baseball owners and teams, they're very good at acting like they don't have money, but we all know they do. <laughs> they could, I mean, the Reds could absolutely afford to sign Johnny Cueto. They yep. absolutely could. <laughs> if the owner wanted, he could stretch, and they have the money, they have the revenue sharing. The, system is built so that teams are guaranteed to make money if they really wanted to stretch it they could make it work and i think they see it as all right we don't want to pay through the nose for this guy when he's not good and it's just it's a convenient excuse it is and you know sometimes it's not a bad excuse you know there's sensible there's reasons to let quaita walk where it makes sense from a baseball standpoint it's not going to be popular but you could make the argument that's the right decision for the team where they are right now hey michael what's your twitter handle it's Mike Exisa, my last name. It's A-X-I-S-A. All right, great. And uh, we'll also read you at CBSSports.com. Michael, really appreciate it. Sure, thanks. All right, all we're, live guests. We're sorry we asked you about the Rockies. All live guests brought to you by Papa Drag John's official sponsor of the Colorado Rockies. The day after every Rockies win, not today, get 50% off your regular menu price online order at PapaJohns.com. Use the promo code ROCKSWIN, R-O-X-W-I-N.